12 o'clock on January 23rd. I want to call this meeting to order. Um, first thing is addition, additions and deletions to the agenda. I don't have anything. Okay. Citizens comment. I don't comment. see anyone online that has comment. No. No one in person that okay. has a comment. And town warning approval. Okay. Uh, if you want to let me share my screen so anyone at home can. I should. Um, so there are a few updates uh, we got um, some feedback from uh, our attorneys this morning. Sure. Um, so two things to highlight. Um, they recommend getting rid of Article 1, uh, see if the town will receive an act upon report submitted by the town officers. Uh, a, typically, we don't do that, and B, if we would do that with Australian ballot, we'd actually have to have a floor meeting for that because you can't give a report if you're just doing an Australian ballot. Um, so they recommend getting rid of Article 1. They also recommend getting rid of Article 4. Uh, give the town will vote to our authorized treasurer. Uh, the select board already has a uh, state statute authority to do that, so it does not be, need to be listed twice. Um, so those are the two big changes. Um, they did recommend some um, changes in wording and grouping um, that we just don't have time to put together before Thursday. Uh, it was more a suggestion than anything that we need to do um, officially. Uh, so my recommendation would be wait till next year to make kind of some of those changes. Um, but they also indicated that this is the first year they've looked at the the warning before, um, and I think they'd have more feedback uh, for future years if we want to engage them much earlier in the process um, and kind of give us a better framework of how we want to phrase some of these things. Uh, because the type the type framework they kind of want to give us the things they felt that we had to change, which is one in four. Um, the only thing I will mention, um, just for full transparency's sake, um, BLCT. Uh, says that February 24th is the first day that we can have the informational sessions. Um, the attorneys were unsure of that. They were counting town meeting as one of the days of the 10 days, not the day before. Um, so they talked to us about maybe having the meeting not on the 24th. I'm waiting to hear back from VLCT just to confirm that. We had a large conversation internally today in town hall with many parties, uh, and we're 99.9% .9 sure the 24th will be okay. Uh, but I didn't want to highlight that in case we head back between now and Thursday when this has to be officially signed. Uh, if we get feedback from the LCT that for some reason they are wrong, uh, then we can maybe have a special meeting to fix that. But I just want to make that aware to the board uh, before we go forward. So if you do hear from me, that's why. But again, everyone we talked to besides our one attorney uh, felt that 24th was okay. I know conference meeting the same day, so. And they're probably using the LCT's information, yeah. Not that that's an indication, but if <laughs> either we both have to move it or. Yeah, and if for some reason we found with move it, we'll call Bromford and let them know, and it'll be <laughs> vice versa. Any questions in a warning? I think I'm just talking. Okay. I, think I, I guess my suggestion was probably the same as theirs that it would be, I think, a simpler read if it was grouped with the money asks and the exempt properties. Yeah. And I, I understand why it was done the way it was, but you could still do that order with the money asks. And then I just think it's, as, as a voter, it's, it's, it's confusing. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's uh, very good feedback that we'll consider in future years. Um, and just so we can say publicly, the way we've done it in the past, my understanding is we've listed them as they've come in, and that was a way to stem different organizations from requesting being in certain places on the ballot or being placed. You know, I don't want to be, for a hypothetical, I don't want to be behind someone who's asking for a lot of money because people may get fatigued of going yes, 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 and then no. Um, so that was a process we use. I think if we want to change it going forward, I think we're happy to. 
I think the board would probably just want to vote on how that will look. If you want to do by alphabetical name, if you want to do it by uh, dollar amount for ascending, descending, uh, just so we can have some framework so we don't get yelled at internally about why someone's right. listed first. I think the order that they get, they come in is, is you know, probably the least arbitrary. It's just that we have two classifications. Yeah. Okay. And that's only yeah. going to be every five years that the properties are up. Are sure. up. So Nikki, five years from now, remember we got to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are they all up at five years or are they? I think it's all five. It's, yeah, we, we went back to 2014 and it's every five years. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the only other comment I had Susan's was that we give folks notice about changing the wording for those that are uh, the special articles because some of them have appropriate versus raise appropriate and expend, but they're all. Yeah, so this is uh, again, uh, uh, not a second point, but state statute says that um, the phrasing on the warning should be the same phrasing that the uh, uh, organization had in the petitions because it does what people signed up for. Um, our, our attorney said we could change it as long as you don't change the meaning of it uh, so everything could be un uniform so what we're going to try to do next year is when someone gets a petition have the language they should use so everything will be similar and so okay. then we, don't, we won't have to worry about changing it ourselves okay but those are both very two very good points that we should, we will work on anything else I will make the motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The one. Which one are you looking for? You know the, the other business. Uh, so I'll just say that Nikki will. Um, we need the the whole board to sign this, correct, Nikki? Are you gonna do an online version or in person or? It's up to you. If you want to wait for BLT, we can do that, or I can sign it now and. Hope that we can keep the date. Yeah. Um, you can sign one of the copies that we have, and then I can send it out to Gary. Uh, we want to fix the one Zoom thing, right? So do you want to just? Oh, that's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So I can do it all online if you. Yeah. That's what I would know. Yeah. So Nikki. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Can you do the whole thing together here? Okay. So say Nikki will send it out at the latest by noon tomorrow. So please check your email by noon tomorrow and, and sign uh, at the latest. It will probably be done earlier, but just to give you a, a timeline. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Great. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.